It's a great variety. The station playing more of your favorites. What we lack in quantity, I think we're going to make up for you in quality here this morning. Okay. Because I can start this morning's dumb criminal file with the following quote from the, hey, hold my beer and watch this department. Oh, really? One okay. of them. <laughs> A uh, pair of 17-year-olds in Tupelo, Mississippi. All right. Are in trouble. One in the hospital. When they stole a Honda Spree. I didn't even know they still made these things. Maybe they don't. I think they do. Honda Spree, for those of you that don't know, is like a one-speed motorbike They still make them. Thing. I'm sure they do. Anyway. These, these things were all over 20 years ago. Everywhere. And now with today's gas price, it's probably not a bad idea. Anyway, a Honda Spree maybe, maybe goes 25 miles an hour. It's not much. Maybe. Yeah. Well, they posted the clip on YouTube of one of them trying to jump a city dump truck. <laughs> With a spree. With a Honda Spree. Oh, oh yes. A stolen Honda Spree. Which is no more. I'll bet. The one that tried to jump the truck is pretty much no more either. He'll be in the hospital for a while. And they've got the whole thing on tape. Oh, would I love to see that. Would I love to see that. Trying to jump a city dump truck with a stolen Honda Spree. Here, hold my beer and watch, <laughs> watch this. this. <laughs> yeah. You gotta promise me right now I won't do it. All right, it's on. Go for it. You're gonna do it? Go ahead. Katie, if he doesn't, you're the middle woman. Cut him off for a month. Hurry up, the time's going. <sighs> Uh, dad. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. A French woman has been arrested after drugs worth $500,000 were found in her shoes at the Brisbane International Airport. $500,000 worth she of drugs. She had four and a half inch platform shoes with an eight inch heel. Okay. That were all full of drugs. Full of coke. Full of coke. Both of them. Yow. Okay, if you have a four and a half inch platform with an eight inch heel, yeah, the odds of you uh, not making it down the stairs unless you are a professional, pretty slim. I thought I thought it'd be bad enough that I'd make the joke that you know how what it's called when they contaminate the cocaine with other stuff. It's called being stepped on. Mm-hmm. So she, I've heard. she took a tumble down the stairs and basically came down in a cloud of white. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, uh, oh, that cocaine. Uh, uh, that's foot powder. Really? And to get to the funniest one last. Galdana, Louisiana. I'm not making that up. Galdana. <laughs> Galdana, Louisiana. What are we going to name the place? Galdana, I don't know. I don't know. Charles Nolan wanted to print some counterfeit spending money, so he didn't have a computer or any plates or anything Another like that. So None of that fancy hooey. Came up with the ultimate scheme. He built himself a press. Okay. Okay. And went and stole himself a bunch of tin from a nearby roof. Tin from a nearby roof to make the plates. No. He made a counterfeit quarter pressing machine. <laughs> what? <laughs> he, he what? He started pressing his own quarters. <laughs> quarters? Yeah. He modified a drill press would slide the tin in and punch out a quarter. <laughs> no. Dude, I'm good, but even I can't that, make that up. No. Oh, yeah. If you're going to go through the effort of counterfeiting, <laughs> don't counterfeit quarters. I mean, they don't look at it any differently in the eyes of the law. You're, well, you you're know, a counterfeiter's you're, counterfeiter. So you might as well go, you know, go big. Well, go I, early. maybe he thought that, you know, you could slide under the scope a little bit by going so small. But he needed some spending money. I'm, my thinking is that he was going to go to the casino with him and just keep plugging him. 
Yeah, but there's a weight issue. I and, did that. I, did no, that. No, no, okay. Don't. Okay. I'm the choir. Don't okay. preach to me. I got you. I hear you. We only report. Finally, this morning, French police had a good chuckle the other day. 35-year-old man and his 34-year-old wife decided they were going to rob a local bank okay. by tossing in a canister of sleeping gas. Like in the movies? Ah, uh, yes. Everybody falls asleep. Everybody does so this they often. Just go yeah, in mm-hmm. and take everything. Uh-huh. The uh, the problem was the uh, the canister that had the uh, the uh, the sleeping gas in it sprung a leak while they were in their car on their way <laughs> to the bank. <laughs> <laughs> Drove off the road, did they? Right into a pole. Yeah. <laughs> Police found them there fast asleep. Fast asleep. <laughs> 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 That's good. Uh, I like that. <laughs> I thought you'd appreciate that Excuse one. Excuse me, darling. Do you smell any uh, thing? I, I, uh, I don't know, but I'm feeling a little. Oh. <laughs> Sunny 